This one could be interesting because I have not figured out which way I'm going to go on this yet. Army, traveling to Liberty. It's a 12 p.m. Eastern time game. Liberty, a three and a half point favorite, total of 53 and a half. And by the way, right before we started recording, let me see if I can pull this up. I want to see. If, I think Hugh Freeze just signed a contract extension with Liberty because I, I think I saw, I was watching the, uh, the Northern Illinois game. There we go. <laughs> Sources, Liberty and Hugh Freeze sign mega deal. Hugh Freeze secures new deal will average more than $4 million annually to stay at Liberty. Awesome. That is awesome. That is crazy. Yeah, it's what I told you the other day, right? Like, why leave? You're at a private yeah. school. Like, you're in the middle of Virginia. Nobody's paying attention to you. Just do what you and do. What you do. That, that money is only the money they're telling you about. Yeah, yeah Hugh Freeze is getting a lot of uh, amenities as well on top of that. So, yeah, that's, that's a good situation. Definitely. Uh, Here's what scares me. Liberty, penalties per game, number 84. Penalty yards per game, number 107. Turnover margin, number 120. Malik Willis has been careless with the football, especially in the red zone. And you do that against Army, and you may not see the ball again for like 10 minutes. Now, Liberty's defense, like, pretty good. Pretty damn good, actually. Their stuff rate's number 35. Uh, their adjusted sack rate, which is not going to matter in this game, is number 8. But but they got a pretty good, pretty good bunch of guys in the trenches, I think. On, on the other side, like, Army's defense is pretty good, and they can they can force some turnovers. They are number twenty six in turnover margin. This looks like Army would be really, really. I, I think they can really take advantage of some miscues here. But as far as talent goes, I mean, Liberty is way, way above them, and it, most teams that Army plays are. But that Liberty just makes too many mistakes for me. Like I, I want to take yeah. Liberty here, but man, I think Army is the smart play at, at more than a field goal. Like, I, I'm going to roll Yeah, I think we're going to ride with uh, with the Black Knights on this. I mean, you just look at these now. It's a bunch of green for Army, and <laughs> there's a bunch of red spots for Liberty on uh, on my sheet. What uh, what are you looking at? Well, I, you know I hate betting against the troops, and so I tried to think of what was the stupidest reason I could, I could justify betting against the troops. And I got to say, three weeks ago, Liberty played UMass, and they beat them 70, uh, 62 to 17. Last week, Army played UMass. They only beat them 33 to 17. And so transit <laughs> property, Liberty's going to win. Uh, <laughs> I like the transit um, property. There. <laughs> I think that Liberty's rushing, especially with Malik Willis's legs, will, will give a lot more trouble to Army. Army doesn't play the kind of defense or offense where Liberty is going to have to catch up. I, I, I think in the sense that um, – I think Liberty's going to be able to be a little bit more conservative and exploit Army's defense in ways that they haven't been able to exploit defenses like Louisiana, Ole Miss, and and even Syracuse's defense early on this season. The game was absolutely, I think, a fluke. I think they had four red zone trips where they came up with zero. And I think that, you know, pulls their aggregate numbers, makes it bad. If you kind of put it outside of this, this offense can put up a lot of points. And I mean, Army certainly has shown that they can keep pace, but I, I think that I trust Malik Willis playing for NFL draft spot last game of the season here. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Liberty to cover. I can, I can definitely see that. I mean, obviously Malik Willis has a good game and this is not even a question, but yeah. if, if I get a couple of turnovers, I mean, you never know. <laughs> like if there's, yeah. there's a way that, uh, that army could certainly catch them off guard. So we'll, we'll go opposites on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.